Well, howdy, y'all. It's I, good old OG. And I thought I'd take a break from all this here cantankerous craziness that has plagued my vlog today and add a little humor to end the evening. And what better way than to take a look at the Dallas role-playing game. So here's the Wikipedia on the Dallas role-playing game. Dallas is a TV soap opera crime system which PCs are major characters from the Dallas seri series interacting in plots. Character abilities include power, persuasion, coercion, seduction, investigation, and luck. Ability scores are compared and dice are rolled to determine the result actions. The game included a rules of play, major characters booklet, and the scriptwriter's guide for the DM plus a dozen minor characters on cut apart cards. Publication history. Dallas was designed by James F. Dunigan with an art by Raymond A. Simonsonian and published by Simulations Publish Publications Incorporated, SPI, uh, which is a company that was mostly known for its um, war games. Uh, in 1980, is a box set containing three 16-page books, two sheets of cards, and dice. In an attempt to expand its customer's base even further beyond the hobbyist core, SBI entered into a much publicized agreement with Lorimer Productions to produce a Dallas role-playing game based on the soap opera Dallas in 1980. Dallas, the television role-playing game, is sometimes named as the first ever licensed role-playing game, though Star Trek Adventures games was in 1978. So technically, I think it's over. Uh, the game, of course, was an uh, infamous failure, and the company that produced it remarked that of the... Uh, 80,000 copies printed, 79,999 were too many. Now, that's awesome. <laughs> of the 80,000 copies printed, 79,999 were too many. That's, that's hilarious. Uh, reception. Uh, David Ladyman reviewed Dallas, the television role-playing game in The Space Gamer, number 42. Lady Man com commented that, is Dallas a useful bridge between gaming and your real-world friends? That might depend on how many Dallas freaks you know that you would want to introduce to gaming. Hardcore RPGers would probably want to add the game to their collection. Character attributes and the conflict resolution system are novel enough. Even if you have no interest in the television series, I wouldn't suggest it, though. If you buy a game for long-term play playability, Dallas just doesn't have the lasting entertainment value. Uh, Lauren Schick commented that as much as a card game as a role-playing game, it was wildly loathed by SC, SPI's devoted family of war gamers. That is it, I think. Uh, here's a oh, here's a review from 2020. Uh, Yeah, no. Is this a review? No, it's just more talking about his personal experience with it and how he played it with his grandmother. Which is nice that he was able to play a game with his grandma. Um, it's oh, let's see, it's on sale for on Amazon. Uh, oh, it's not on sale for Amazon. It's not available anymore on Amazon. It was available. Do we have a price? No reviews, no price. Uh, let's see if we can find it on eBay. Let's see if it's a... Here's a review of it from the Vintage RPG Podcast from uh, 2021. Okay, so I'm not the only person who decided to dredge it up. Um, yeah, I can't... Yeah, let's, see. let's go to eBay. eBay... And Dallas, oh, it would help if I knew how to spell out D L Dallas D R P G. Let's see if I can find it. Forty-one dollars and thirty-nine cents from a Canadian shipper. Eighty-five dollars and ninety-nine cents, brand new here in the USA. And uh, that, that's it. Only two copies. Um. So, uh, no matter how bad your day was and no matter how weird you think the world was and no matter your opinion on my previous vlogs today about x cards and safety we could all share in the fact that in this amazing bizarre 
world that is role playing. Somebody wrote a Dallas the role playing game, which apparently, at least according to this guy, has an interesting system. Published eighty thousand copies of the Dallas role playing game, of which once again seventy nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine were too many and actually thought that this would be a good way to combine role playing with the real world and maybe bring Dallas fans to the role playing day. But there is a story here about a guy who was able to connect with his grandmother by through the Dallas role playing game. Um, persuasion, coercion, seduction, investigation, and luck. Is, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if they ever use the system ever again. Um, so yeah, this existed, and if you are one of the lucky people out there within the sound of my voice to have a copy of this game, I respect you a thousand times more for having it. And that's how we're going to end this evening. I'll be back tomorrow with our regular scheduled lunacy. If you are a fan of the Dallas role-playing game, subscribe. Until then, get off my Ponderosa. <laughs>